Hey guys, some quick advice. Do you ever put your benzo under your tongue? Do you ever let it dissolve under your tongue? Or do you just swallow it? I know some of you titrate and you know you have the liquid, so I guess that really wouldn't apply to you. But if you're using just a solid pill, um, ask yourself, are you putting it under your tongue or are you just swallowing it? And for me, I always put it under my tongue. And it may sound a little strange, but let me explain. Uh, first, it absorbs better under your tongue. Um, you have uh, veins and arteries in your mouth. It's semi-permeable, semi-permeable membranes in your mouth. You know, it gets in your system. And, the, and my fear of swallowing the pill versus putting it, placing it under my tongue is because when you swallow it, you got to wonder how much of it is actually getting into your system. You know, you have... Uh, bile and stomach acids and food and all this other content. And you have to wonder how much of that gets eliminated in the digestion process versus actually getting into our blood system. But with it in your mouth, you know you're getting pretty much the full dose. I don't have to worry about that. Now, some people will say, hey, that's, you're being a little, you know, that's a bit of health anxiety. And I'm sure there would be doctors that would push back against that. And okay, maybe there might be, you know, maybe, maybe there is something there. Um, so what? If it makes you feel more confident in the dose, why not? Second reason to put it under your tongue is that it hits you faster, right? So you, I, I believe you get more um, uh, of the dose that you're trying to get, which is super important during this process of tapering and coming off of benzos. But also, um, you're, it's going to hit you faster. So if you're having a panic attack, if you're really on the edge, you go, oh my God, and you reach for your benzo, Put it under your tongue. It's going to hit you faster, uh, and you're going to get more of it. So just some thoughts there. I'm curious what your guys uh, think about that. It's just the way I always did it. I mean, I think for the last uh, even years that I was on Benzo, I, you know, honestly, when I think back on it, I mean, I almost never swallowed it. I always put it under my tongue. That's just the way I took it. You know, that Valium would just dissolve, and that was it. Now, does it taste great? No. It, it, you know, it's a small little pill. It dissolves pretty quickly. And, you know, it, I don't know. I got used to it. I never really thought about it. It didn't leave like a horrendous taste in my mouth. But I was more worried about, like I said, I, you know, if I took it at times, I needed that breakthrough dose. I needed something to help immediately. And I always just worried about, you know, how much of it was being eliminated in my stomach. Like I said, you know, you got bile and, and acid and, uh, you know, this all these digestive enzymes in your stomach, and you really have to wonder. 